potential interview questions that you could get asked as an ISSO or someone working within the risk management framework or uh, an analyst or someone working on security assessment and authorization. questions, potential interview questions that you could get asked as an ISSO or someone working within the risk management framework or uh, an analyst or someone working on security assessment and authorization. So there are six questions you could get asked about an SSB. Obviously, there are more questions, but in this video, we're going to be talking about six questions. So the first question is, do you have any experience on SSP? Do you have any experience working on SSPs? So an SSP is called the System Security Plan, and it's basically uh, the security bible for a system or application, if you will. Um, this question is going to be asked to gauge your level of experience and then two to figure out what other follow-up questions you'll get asked so please answer this question honestly um, just tell them hey i have experience working on ssps um, i did this at my previous job uh, we worked on um, six SSPs, or I worked on one SSP uh, a day where I updated it, blah, blah, blah. The next question you can get asked about an SSP is how many years of experience do you have working on SSPs? So the first one was, do you have an experience? Second one is how many years of experience? So if you had answered the first question, first question by saying how many years of experience, obviously they would not ask you the second question. So again, the second question is another way to gauge your level of experience and to determine what other follow-up questions they'll ask you. So if you say that you have five years of experience working on SSPs, just know that in your responses to the question. You can't guess and say, uh, uh, I forgot, oh, you know, you can't sound like a rookie because now you said you have five years of experience. There are certain things that you should know as a seasoned uh, cybersecurity professional, okay? So if you, my suggestion is if you have one year of experience, six months, whatever it is, answer the question honestly. Third question you could get asked is, what type of work do you do with SSPs? So there's only four major things you could do with an SSP. You could either develop the SSP, you could either update the SSP, you could either review the SSP or submit the SSP. So those are the four major things you could do uh, or four major categories you could do when working on an SSP. So your answer could be could fall under any of those four categories. So develop the SSP, then they could have follow-up questions. How did you develop the SSP? Did you develop the SSP from scratch? Did you use templates? Um, updating the SSP, how did you update the SSP? What types of things would you do when you update the SSP? And you could talk about, oh, I updated the dates, I updated the implementation description, updated the controls and things of that nature. I updated the, the POCs. Reviewing the SSP, when we talk about reviewing the SSP, there are certain things you could do um, uh, in the interview, talk about in the interview when reviewing an SSP. You tell them, hey, I reviewed the SSP for accuracy. I reviewed the SSP to make sure that uh, the, the dates were uh, aligned, um, the 
POCs were correct. I reviewed the SSP for grammar issues or spell checks. Um, so those are the types of things you can do when reviewing the SSP. Um, submitting the SSP uh, is a part of uh, the process where you submit the SSP for an, either for an assessor to uh, review, you submit the SSP for um, the system owner to review and sign. Uh, so you, you submit the SSP for signatures to be obtained. The fourth question you get asked about how you work on SSPs or SSPs in general is who signs the SSP? Who signs the SSP? So there, there is a signature block for the SSP and typically the system owner signs, the ISSO signs, um, the authorizing official signs on the SSP. Now the, for your organization, you could have other signatories like the privacy officer, uh, the chief information security officer uh, could have a signature block as well, but just know that those uh, are the common uh, signatories on an SSP. The fifth question you could get asked about an SSP could be the system categorization. So they could ask you a question like, what types of SSPs do you work with or what types of templates if you mentioned that you work use templates what types of templates well, did you work with were they um, high moderate or low so this is where you would answer yeah i typically worked on low systems moderate systems and then you could go into um, categorization uh, just to let them know that you're familiar with the concept of system categorization. The sixth question you could get asked about working on SSPs is what are the common problems you've seen uh, with SSPs? What are the common issues you've noticed in SSPs? And this question could get answered by saying, hey, I, most common question I see is wrong implementation descriptions or um, wrong information or outdated information. Okay, so I hope this was helpful. Thanks. Hey, if you're interested in any of my cybersecurity videos, here is one I would recommend for you. It's the Information System Security Officer Training. This course comes with tons of videos, um, a CAP, which is the Certified Authorization Professional Bootcamp, comes with quizzes, comes with a certificate of completion, resume template, um, ebook, monthly live Q&A sessions, the ability to ask questions as well and get a response back in uh, 48 hours. Also has interview prep and job prep. So this is a power packed course. For more information, visit www.cyberfirstacademy.com. Thanks. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirst Solutions. Thank you.